Hi guys, I'm Nina. You're the Interviewing Hipster Darlings, and today we're going to do the writer's tag. And this was on the those writer girls. They did a week of this because there's five of them, and so they did a writer's tag every day. And so I'm going to do one. Uh, this is the one, uh, the video I picked was Julie's. So hi Julie, I'm going to do the writer tag today. So this, this should be fun. Uh, so, the first question is, what do you write? And I write mainly short stories and novels. I've done poetry. I don't really like doing poetry, but I have done poetry. What do you mostly write about? I mostly write about women in, like, weird situations. Like, my first novel was about uh, a video a, an up-and-coming video blogger who was finally getting her start on YouTube. Uh, which I called like you now or you star or something. I don't remember. I decided that it wasn't going to be YouTube, but it was going to be something else because I made like all of these sites. Anyway, not important. My second novel was about a woman who was, yeah, a woman, a, a commercial writer who was going through a lot of relationship issues and it was really interesting because I had written 75,000 words on it. I, I had 25,000 words written before the NaNoWriMo event started, and then I just add, decided to add 50,000, and that was really good. My third novel was, I, oh, my third novel was Biggest Con Yet, which was about a female heist artist because that's something I wanted to write about. I wanted to write a heist novel forever. Like, I I can remember back a long time ago when uh, I, I first started thinking about being a serious writer and I was like, I wanna write a heist novel. And uh, I was like, no, that's gonna be a lot of research and work and all of this. And it didn't end up um, coming out super fabulous, but it, it was one of the, my most fun to write about. Uh, this female con artist who was just so fantastic uh, and trying to find this treasure that she uh, that she became a heist uh, con artist for. And then my fourth novel was about this rock and roll family that was a plural family um, but it was so crazy and amazing and all of these like crazy characters uh, it was very funny. And then my best short story was about this woman and her uh, relationship and dealing with that and having cancer and it was very good. I, I liked it a lot. Uh, I don't do very much research so things don't come out very well sometimes. Uh, and this novel is about a, a girl who goes through a relationship crisis and is very interesting is also very weird. There's also some other things in it, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, what do you, what's your favorite thing about writing? My favorite thing about writing is like, I, I know it sounds weird, but like there are times when writing makes me cry and that's kind of my favorite thing about writing is like that transcendence of, oh my god, these these are feelings, and they're here, and they're coming out my face. So, I, I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone else, but it does to me. Um, who slash what inspired you to start writing slash keep writing? Uh, my first novel, uh, which really jump-started my kind of, like, passion for it, was, and I know it'll sound stupid, but I could not have started writing without John Green in my life. Like, I could not have started writing without him in my life. And, like, I, I owe... It's not even, like, his writing advice, but I owe him a lot just being in my life because that the ideas that I got through the, the, the Vlogbrothers really changed my life in a period where I was not really sure that I wanted to change. And so for me, that was just like, Hallelujah! And John inspires me to write every day, uh, still. But there are a multitude of people, like Julie and those writer girls, and my mom, and John, and all of these people. Uh, who is your favorite character that you made up? 
I honestly have to go with my con artist female. I can't remember what her name was. Um, she was just really cool. She was so cool. She was amazing in all the right ways. Uh, she was... It, it really was just a very strange experience to write her. Also, potentially Danielle, who was the woman in my cancer story, and she was a little bit based on real life, but a lot based on, like, The Fault in Our Stars, uh, which I actually have heavily influenced that story because it's a can it it's a cancer story but it's about dealing with like not just being a cancer patient it's dealing with like you know I I need to feel these things and I want to be normal and how these characters kind of go about doing that <sighs> when did you start writing uh, I've I've always written um, as far back as I can remember, I, I was writing and I wanted to be an author and I wanted to do that. And uh, I think it's one of those things that among the many things that I've wanted to be, like, you know, a business person and an actor and, you know, a YouTuber and all of these things, I still come back to every time and go, that's what I want to do with my life. And it is very, very special to me. Uh, first story you wrote, I can't remember. Uh, I wrote a lot of poetry when I was an angsty teenager, and so that's one of the first things I remember writing. Um, the first story I remember writing, I... I don't remember anything about my writing before because I've largely trashed a lot of it. Um, but one of the first things I started writing, I don't even remember... I remember trying to start my first nano, and that I didn't finish. Um, and that one was in 2010? Yeah, 2010, I want to say. And I didn't finish it at all. Uh, I wrote I wrote a bunch of fan fiction. That was the first stories I probably wrote. And let me actually go on to fan fiction and see if I can... Let's see... I, see, I don't even remember the first thing I wrote. Uh, I think I wrote a Star Wars fan fiction. Aha! There we go. There's my... Uh, yeah, I wrote really crappy Star Wars fan... Star Wars and Harry Potter fan fiction, and they're terrible and amazing at the same time. Uh, mostly amazing at how terrible they are, but still amazing in a lot of ways. Uh, I wrote a lot of fan fiction um, across a lot of genres of works. Like I did Star Wars and Harry Potter and X Men and The Breakfast Club and uh, it was so good. Star Trek and Glee it was so good and so terribly bad. Flash forward, Doctor Who and Dead Like Me. It was just such a random curiosity of things that came together. It was strange and amazing. Um, do you have a writing schedule? Like, do you write every day or just when you feel like it? Uh, mostly I try to write every day. If I'm not feeling writing, I don't. Like, I try to, and I try to write for about an hour every day. Uh, that hour is not scheduled, it's just whenever. Uh, but if I don't feel like writing, I don't feel like I need to beat myself up for it. I, I really don't. And do you want to be published? Of course I want to be published. I want people to write, read my novels and like get something out of them. Um, especially the one I'm writing right now, hashtag healing novel, because it is really like, it makes me feel things. And it, largely that's due to the fact that it's based on my life, uh, at least a part of my life that I thought was very important to share with people. But I think it is a very important part of who I am to want to share my stories and want to, and want to, you know, earn a living from my stories. I've always kind of wanted to be a storyteller. That's kind of the dream. 
is to tell stories in whatever medium I can and I do that with blogging and acting and writing and it's it's always been a very creative outlet for me to just find something and just do it and so that's the writing tag I will leave all of the questions below do you like me doing tag videos if you do leave that in the comments below that's awesome if you want to like talk about writing I'll talk about writing um uh all of the people I know who are writers have done this except maybe Tanya in in which case if Tanya you haven't done this please I would like to hear your answers to this tag so thank you guys so much for being a part of this I will see you tomorrow bye guys Also, I forgot, I know another author who regularly write, who regularly comments in the down bar, so I'm gonna, like, tag her too. Untapped Inkwell, you're it too. Uh, I don't think I've seen you do this one, and I'm kind of curious as to your writing schedule and stuff and things, so you're it too. Bye, guys.